Hi, let me tell you a little bit about sap. Now, sap provides energy to a tree, just like food provides energy to us. All trees produce sap, and all sap can be made into syrup. Now, the reason we use maple trees more commonly is because maple sap has a higher sugar content compared to most other species. The maple sap is approximately made up of 98% water and 2% sugar. Sap is made by the tree, which means the tree can produce its own food. During the summer, carbon dioxide from the air is absorbed by the tree's leaves and combines with chlorophyll. The strong summer sun provides energy to bond the carbon dioxide and chlorophyll to make sugar. This is a process called photosynthesis. Sap runs through a layer of wood in the tree's trunk called sapwood. It runs from the root of the tree to the tips of the branches. The sugar made during photosynthesis is sent down the sapwood from the leaves to the roots where it combines with water that has been sucked up from the ground. The water and sugar combine to create sap. The sap is stored in the roots during the fall and winter months. In the springtime, when the sun is shining bright and the ground begins to thaw, the sap begins its journey through the tree, up from the roots and into the branches. The sap provides energy to the tree, which encourages buds to grow and turn into leaves. Then, the cycle repeats throughout the summer. Photosynthesis creates the sugar that is sent to the roots to be stored until the next spring. The best time to collect sap is in the spring, when the sap is running up the tree towards the branches. That is why maple production takes place in March. It is still a cold time of year, but the sun grows strong enough to warm up the roots during the day and thaw the sap.